guys, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today, I am going to be taking part in a challenge. And we'll get to the insights of that, or well, not the insights, let's call the information on that in just a couple of minutes. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Hit it twice and click on all. You'll be notified for every single video that I put up, let's hope. Also, if you could give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love to read them, I love to respond to them. So let's get right into this. Okay, today we are using only craft sticks. And as you can see, these are the second to the biggest craft sticks that I could find at my Walmart. And I am overlapping these um, using six per level. I'm gonna do several levels. And what I'm doing is I'm using hot glue and I'm just gluing them where the bottom is on top of the two top ones the the two not the bottom the two uh bottom ones on the angled ones or on top of the top ones and you'll see why because in the end we're going to be making a shelf in there so i'm just i've got a little system that i'm going through putting them exactly the same way that way what i'm making is i'm making literally making a shelf out of craft sticks and it turns out being extremely sturdy and I think cannot remember how many I, I know I used almost two packs and you can see here how thick it is now I'm sliding those in then I'm gonna glue them so they don't slide out and I'm just literally putting them in between every single one of those uh, uh, craft sticks and that's going to make a shelf um, on the uh, on top of there so you have two shelves and now I'm just decided I needed one more level um, and I went ahead and put did that and put one more in the center and then like I said I'm going to hot glue those um, of all the connecting points and um, I guess I decided I needed more than just one. I did like three or four more. But I'm just checking it, making sure it's level, gluing those all in, um, making sure that they're not going to move. And then we will. this will be a finished project. I hope you guys really like this one. Now, and this is how it ends up looking. Now, to the challenge. This is called... So you think you can craft. The host is Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY. Her co-host is Trish and Kay from The Crafting Cousins. So let's get right into this second project. Okay, this is a jar that I've had for many years. It's like a pesto jar. I just like the shape of it. It's square and I really liked it. I didn't worry about the label because you're not going to see the label. Now these are the small craft sticks from the Dollar Tree and what I'm doing is it this these fit perfectly. I just lined all the way around this and as you see as I'm coming to the end those last ones fit perfectly in that last spot and so it was perfect. Um, it turned out, of course, that's, I'm doing the end. I'm not completely finished. I'm doing the back side. But these fit perfectly, so perfectly. And now here I am just um, finishing up that last uh, side. And then I'm going to grab some jute. And I'm just going to wrap the jute around and make a bow. And then I'm just going to grab some uh, yellow little flowers that I got from the Dollar General. I don't remember the uh, what kind they are. And here it is with a little bit of greenery. So I hope you like this. Now let's get to the next project. Now these ones are the large craft sticks from um, Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to make is a little palette. So simple. I just figured out how many pieces I need. I lined them up. I put hot glue on the edge, stood it right up, held it there till it was done, 
um, than I did the other because I don't want to do them all and then try to glue them, like all of them and get all the sticks on the same all on there at the same time so what I'm doing is I'm gluing one piece and then I'm going down and I'm gluing the top doing the same exact thing putting the glue across the edge putting it down then I'm going to put the glue in the on the edge and putting it in the middle so now all I have to do is just go glue 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 put it on it's done this is so simple and easy to do and that is it I used no paint just glue um, the sticks here I am you can see I went back and uh, filmed where I had put the f uh, flowers in this uh, this vase and I didn't even cut it I don't think I think I just bent them so that, that I could pull them out put different colors and it worked perfect now the greenery I think I did cut it down because it was just way 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 too tall yeah and so I bent it up if I needed it. I don't remember if I actually needed it but um, it was just like one pick and one pick of flowers and one pick of greenery and this project is done it turned out so pretty but now I decide well now let's cut some of that off it was too bulky at the bottom so um, that way I cut them apart and I pulled the greens apart because it just wasn't fitting good enough and I didn't want to have to use any other filler and that's done it such simple 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 easy three projects so like I said I hope you guys liked my video. Please give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification twice and hit all, as well as leave me a comment. Love comments. So, um, and don't forget to check out the description box down there is Melissa's information on her channel, as well as the Crafting Cousins and the playlist um, link will be there as well. So please don't forget to go check this all out. And you guys have a great blessed day and be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.